decided that um, Tahi is a really good character to talk about diversity with, so that's kind of where that came in, especially with Martin Luther King Day. And then we decided to bring in penguins to kind of talk about nonfiction, and Tahi is a penguin, so that kind of worked hand in hand with that. Um, and we kind of just decided it would be a nice way to read some fun books, and he's kind of just a fun character to talk about. So, um, Tacky and his five friends are all penguins, and they live in the South Pole. Um, and he's kind of an odd bird. He's kind of the odd bird out because he does, never does anything right. And so um, the kids really learn that it's okay to be different. Um, you can still have a good time. It's okay if you mess up. It doesn't really matter. All right, boys and girls, I've heard that you guys have been learning about penguins. Yeah. And I know I saw some of you come in today with your best penguin waddle. Who's this famous person you've been reading about? had kind of a tacky snack and so we ate some Swedish fish today um, since penguins eat fish and that kind of all was incorporated into our tacky wacky day that we had today. Um, it ended up with uh, a day in the library this afternoon one of the fifth grade teachers Mr. Petrick came um, dressed up as tacky in a big penguin suit and um, tacky's big phrase is what's happening so he came in and kind of talked to the kids and then he read three cheers for tacky one of the last stories in the tacky series. So yeah, and the kids I think had a really good time and they enjoyed listening to him and a lot of them figured out it was, <laughs> it was Mr. Petrick in the end, but they still enjoyed listening to him. Three cheers for Tacky. <laughs> there once lived a group of penguins in a nice icy land. One was goodly, one was lovely, one was angel. One was neatly, one was perfect, and one was Yay! tacky. Tacky was an odd bird. When they grew, when they grew old enough, goodly, lovely, angel, neatly, perfect, and tacky went to school. They read books. They wrote names. They learned their numbers. Numbers were my favorite. One day at school, the penguins noticed a sign with an exciting announcement. Their class had been invited to take part in a great penguin cheering contest. One of the standards for first grade is um, the difference between fiction and nonfiction. So we read some nonfiction books about penguins and kind of talk about how it is the same in tacky or how it's different. Um, and they also just learn about penguins and how they live and where they live and what they do. But now the crowd was on its feet begging for more. Bravo, that was great. Another cheer. Tacky poked his head out. Another cheer? Well, if they insisted, he gave them a second cheer. One, two, three, left. ABC right, flop down, roll over. Say, what's for supper? 
The crowd roared. The judges slapped each other on the backs. And even the other penguin teams clapped wildly. So Tacky led everyone in a third cheer. <coughs> One, two, three, yay! Rudy toot toot hooray! High flippers, high flippers, we're okay! Penguins everywhere gave high flippers. There is no question who wore the shiny blue bow ties home. Tacky was an odd bird, but a nice bird to have around. Well, our Tacky Wacky Day kind of came from, we all dressed in tacky. I didn't do a very good job. I only wore different shoes. Um, but Tacky wears like a Hawaiian shirt, so there's a lot of kids and a couple of the teachers wore Hawaiian shirts and then just kind of different mismatched clothing. And then we had a snack and some of them played games. So it's just kind of a fun way to end the unit. What can you tell me about Tacky the Penguin? He's an odd penguin. What makes him odd? That. And he's fat too. Yeah. Does he? What kind of stuff does he do? In the, in the he slaps people on the back and he doesn't do the line correctly. What do his, What do Tacky's friends think about him? He's he's silly, maybe. How many Tacky books have you read in your room? Um, three. And what are the stories kind of about? Like tacky locks and tacky with the snow games and a regular tacky. What have you learned about real penguins? Like they shuffle the babies, the egg on on their feet and now let it touch the ground. I like tacky books because I never read this book and I like it if do silly stuff. Then I like it if him and he said what happened and slap people in the back. Were you surprised to see Tacky in the library today? Yeah. What did you think about having him to come and read to you? Because I never seen him read to us before. Was it fun? Yeah. Um, what's your favorite thing about Tacky? He's funny and he likes to slap people in the back. Tell me about what happened here in the library today. Um. Tacky was saying, what ha what's happening? <laughs> Were you surprised to see him? Yeah. Was it kind of fun? Yeah. How long have you been reading Tacky books? Have you read a lot of Tacky books in your classroom? Yeah. And what's something about Tacky that you could tell someone? If someone asked you who Tacky was, how would you describe him? What would you say about him? He's funny. What makes him funny? He slaps you on the back. <laughs> Why does he do that? Because that's how he says hi. Tell me about Tacky. What's he like? He's an odd bird, but a nice bird to have around. What makes him odd? Um, he's not like everybody else. He's kind of clumsy and pretty funny. What's uh, one of your favorite Tacky stories? Do you remember? Uh, The camp one where he takes a camp, he saves the day. How did he save the day? By um he he was um he he ha ate lots of marshmallows and he um uh ate lots of chocolate and crackers and and he got so sticky he it the and the bear um was still there eating stuff but Tacky scared him away. He is funny, but a nice bird to have around though. Where to get my, my Hawaiian shirt? I bought it from the North Pole Hawaiian shop. You should visit some of that. Okay, I have to go.